Hey, good morning. Sunday the uh, 15th. September 2024. And I literally just got out of bed. <sighs> Made a cup of coffee. And I got to share something that's been killing me all summer out here, man. I haven't been getting any sleep out here at the camper, man. I see I'm like trying to like catch my breath or whatever because I'm really anxious. And two, this shit's been doing this every freaking weekend to me in my sleep. <laughs> I have never been anxious. In bed. Sleeping. Trying to sleep. And the weird thing is, is that I've had this stupid thought trapped in my brain all freaking night, dude. And I don't know what it is all about, but it's freaking really weird. It's like credit card, debit card. It keeps going through my head over and over again. It's driving me freaking crazy, dude. Making me all anxious. What is that? Credit card, debit card. Something that has to do with it. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what the hell. But the night before last, it was the same damn thing. Something was stuck in my head then. Uh, and I, I didn't get a real sleep. You know what I'm saying? It's a, you're in between a fully asleep and fully awake. That in between part. And that's pretty much what I was all night last night too. And it's, for the record, it's like 6.30 in the morning right now. And I am not comfortable in my own skin, man. A little stuffed up, too. Ugh. Anyways. It's been going on all summer, dude, and I... I, I don't know what's going on. I don't sleep any better back at home, okay? But I at least don't have this um, I don't have the anxiety that I that I have when I'm out here. <laughs> right in my happy spot. My happy spot is starting to become uh, a challenging spot to be at. You know, usually I'd uh, <clears throat> wake up in the morning and I'd be all excited to make my first cup of coffee. <laughs> trying to shake this my, my brain is glitching man it's stuck on this what the fuck I don't understand I do not understand what's going on here but I think it's I think it's the area Something's going on out here, man, that is affecting is affecting me internally.
then I don't know what it is. Um, no, I have no clue. Alright, so it's not, it's not heart palpitations, you know, I can't hear anything in my head with, you know, heart, you, they say you can hear it in your head, it's not that, it's, uh, I kind of feel like this, right, but I'm not like that, I feel like that on the inside, I feel like this on the inside, but look at me on the outside. The surgeon hands, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, I have a buddy that is an alcoholic, and he has it. He has it really bad. I mean, visibly, it's terrible. I don't. But so that's what's going on with me, and it's like up in here. Of course, this is where your heart's at, so it's a little sketchy. But then it fucks with my brain. So I think my... Whatever's affecting my brain right now is affecting this. Which is affecting all this other shit, you know, and I can't shake it, and it's been an ongoing thing all freaking summer, out here, and this is a 5G area, um, you know, I'm not going to hold that part back, it is, but, you know, Man, it would be really, it'd be fucking up everybody, okay? Maybe I'm one of those RF sensitive people. I don't know, man. I could be. You know. I could very well be. <coughs> but my vibe is totally fucked up I made a video yesterday morning pretty much the same thing so but I am posting this one um, because for one thing something's fucking misfiring in my brain that's causing me anxiety or batshit crazy as it sounds I'm being told something that I just can't comprehend okay so I don't know dude hopefully it's just that I'd rather have it not be some health thing I don't know man Because like I said, when I'm at home, I, I don't get anxious. There's no reason for me to be anxious here. This is my escape, man. <laughs> uh, and then my dreams have been so fucked up. I don't even know what's going on anymore, man. Sometimes I can rationalize my dreams. They have some kind of sensibility. But because this thing is, is out of whack. Oh my God, dude. It's not a, it's not a bad out of whack, okay? Not like 
he's going to go on a killing spree right over there. No, nothing like that. It's just, <laughs> I can't even describe it, man. It's just fucking weird, dude. But it is causing, uh, it's causing me physical anxiety as a result. That That's what it's doing. And it does go away, you know, in time, but good Lord, in my, sweet, in my sleep, are you freaking kidding me? I don't do drugs or nothing, man. So, what the fuck? You know? I brought a case of beer out with me Friday. And I think I have one beer left in the cooler. Okay? So, that's how much I've drank this weekend. A case of beer. <laughs> Most guys I know burn through one of those bad boys in a day. But. I don't know. But you know what, man? If this is how it's going to be, then. Fuck. It's going to have to be changes made. I only party in the frickin' summertime. I'm not a wintertime partier. I don't drink. I don't do nothing. <clears throat> All that's reserved for being on the boat. Period. That's my little my little rule, man. You know? And you know, we'll have a little party up on shore once in a while. But... Or occasionally at a friend's house. about it it's like only for only holidays like Halloween and maybe a Christmas party you know shit like that it's funny we celebrate everybody's birthday <laughs> we celebrate everybody's birthday in the summertime even if their birthday isn't in the summer we celebrate it in the summer <laughs> just to get everybody's birthday out of the way Oh. I'm starting to feel a little bit better, but my whole point of this is to try to figure out why this happens to me in my sleep. And the result of that is that I'm not in a deep sleep, nor am I fully awake. I'm in the in the halfway place, okay? And that ain't sleep. <laughs> so if you have any any freaking clue whatsoever what the hell's going on, man, fuck, let me know. it's just me out here me in the woods and the river <clears throat> and that's it Another interesting thing. I mean, I'm close to the... I'm somewhat close to the city. But man, that way, which is due south. Dude, in the freaking middle of the night, wee hours in the morning, you could be out here. 
hearing the industrial white noise. You know what I'm saying? Um, I mean, we've all heard it. It's like, what the hell is that machine or whatever it is? I'm fucking operating at such a distance, but like, dude, I don't fucking know, man. But I hear this shit all the fucking time. What the hell's running? It's never a complete dead fucking quiet out here, you know? You can always hear... something operating or running or whatever in the fucking distance. And it's a consistent white noise. If that makes any sense at all. it would just stop so that I could hear absolutely nothing and the critters you know and the fish because yes I can hear the fish because they come to the surface an awful lot <laughs> and boop and I enjoy that I don't know, man. Maybe it's something like that that's affecting my fucking vibe. And I, I don't mean that in a slang terminology either. I mean that literally affecting my fucking vibration, man. Not to sound new agey and shit. I'm, I'm being fucking real, dude. We all have a frequency and a vibration that we fucking function out of we are electrical beings dude it's a fact you know it's a fucking fact it's not an opinion it's a fact we are electrical beings we operate at a vibration at a frequency And I think that possibly whatever is going on out here is having a negative impact on my vibe, man. That sucks. It really, really does. You know, maybe that's why God did not allow me to build out here you know I mean those of you that have been with me right for a long time you know that cottage used to be mine right man and I fought tooth and nail to freaking build that place up couldn't do it I uh, looked for all kind of other land out here <laughs> you know, to build on, or a house to buy, and there are many, numerous opportunities, which, however, at that time, those houses and properties were expensive. However, <laughs> nothing compared to what they are right now, nothing. I mean, any of the prices from then if someone were to come into a deal such as now would swoop it up in a heartbeat because people are swooping up houses out here I don't 
fucking know where they get this kind of money, man. The dude that bought my old cottage right there. Five hundred and five thousand dollars for that. For my old cottage. A half a million bucks. I didn't get that. No. I sold it to the last lady for what I sell for. <laughs> I think it was three hundred and fifty thousand. Of course I didn't get three hundred and fifty, you know, fuck taxes and all that fucking shit realtor fee 500 grand man for 800 square foot fucking house in a floodway not a floodplain no in the path of the river during the 100 year flood yep not rebuildable if destroyed, not rebuildable if more than 50% of it were to burn down. Um, can't be added on to either outward or upward. <laughs> None of the above. Shot down on every freaking occasion. 505000 dollars, man. Half a million bucks, dude. That's just one tiny example. I'm going to turn these lights off. Hang on a sec. All right, there we go. Where are we at? 22 minutes. That ain't bad. We're just talking, man. Anyways. I don't know how I got on that subject, but let's call it a fun fact. Oh, I remember. So, yeah, he didn't want me out here. And that's the impression that I was under. You know what I mean? I kind of see, I kind of see why now. And I guess I should be grateful for it. You know, he's looking out for me. That's for sure. You know, even though my relationship with him has been for shit for quite some time now, he, uh, he still watches over me, man. Still takes care of me. <laughs> yep. And I'm grateful. You know, that's what he does for his his own. But it makes me wonder at times. Well, why me though? And then there's others that have have it far worse than me, man. that it seems that he's just not present. You know what I'm saying? We kind of had this discussion the other day. But in this world, we will have trouble. You know, there will be tribulation. So, you know, everybody has their own share, right? Some more than others, some less than others. I guess that's all about what a person can take, you know? But dude, for me, my battle has been an awful lot. And I think, I think the reason why my relationship's gone to shit is because of everything that I've been having going on internally, man. Just weird weird fucking shit going on inside of me, man. You 
You know what I mean, man? Honestly, dude, I feel like I am... I really feel... This is going to be fucked up even more. I feel trapped. I feel, um... I feel trapped inside myself. I don't really know how else to describe it without making it sound more weird, but it's <laughs> how I feel. Um, I wish there was another way to describe it. Except that I feel trapped inside myself. Yeah. And, uh... very uncomfortable in my own skin. Uh, at times, <clears throat> you know, looking, I look at my hand and, or anything, I look at my foot, look at my hand, or whatever. <coughs> It's like, yeah, this is mine. This is me. But it's not fucking me. See, I'm trying and it's, I'm failing. I can't describe it any different because it gets more fucked up. So it's leading me to believe that we are in a matrix of sorts. That all of this shit, and I've said it before, that all of this shit is a fucking lie. It's a fake reality. I mean, it's real, but it's not. Does that make any fucking sense either? No. Doesn't. Let's try again. Maybe it's just that it's... <coughs> it's real. But it's not the way it should be. Maybe it's that. Dude, I don't know. But the more I try to describe it, the creepier and stupider and weirder it gets. Yeah. And it makes me sound like I'm a little bit crazy. I concur. But when you get... When you're laying in bed trying to sleep and you get this weird fucking thought stuck in your brain credit card, debit card. I, I can't, I want to be able to describe the other portion of that, but I can't. I can't articulate it. Because um, there was more to it. But I can't articulate it. I don't know. This entire weekend, um, they had that, the uh, Veterans Memorial 
the what is it the movable movable wall you know what i'm talking about yeah so they had that out here in the park way over yonder and yesterday i caught some uh four um prop fighter air aircraft i got them on video flying over the lake with the smoke on and they were in formation it was pretty cool but then all week long all weekend long man they had the <clears throat> the uh the cobras or the hueys yeah they're hueys you know the choppers they had two of them uh, they were giving rides to people for like 115 125 bucks or something like that for like an eight minute ten minute ride you know, it was cool at first, dude, but this shit went on all freaking day, every single day, all week. Well, it began, uh, it started Thursday. I only, I only came out here Friday and yesterday and last night, and this shit just went on. And on. And let me tell you something, those, those damn choppers are so freaking rackety loud. It was driving me crazy. But fortunately, they wrapped it up at about five-ish. And it's like, oh, thank you. Just, I mean, flying right over the treetops. Yeah, so. This shit got loud. Anyways, man. This is just me trying to figure out why my brain is glitching on me. And as a result, fucking with the rest of me. I must have a whole lot of, whole lot of shit on my mind, dude. And I can't, I can't really pinpoint any one thing because there's so much going on. Maybe it's a serotonin thing. Uh, which it could be that. I have no idea. But it, it is. <clears throat> it's fucking debilitating, dude. The way it was described to me once upon a time, uh, cause I have like partial Tourette's, right? I've had it my whole life. And that's not the, uh, that's not the intense shit like you see some of these poor people, man. Like they're demon possessed. Thank God I don't have that. It's just like with my twitches and shit like that. Uh, when I was younger, I used to make noises, you know, whoops and shit like that. <laughs> that was fucking ridiculous. But I, I don't do any of that. It's just, uh, facial twitches and shit like that. But anyways, so I think, I think for that, at the time, I think my mom was giving me Prozac. Yeah, and then when I got in my 30s and I had my first major freaking panic attack out of the blue, never had one before in my life. They put me back on Prozac, and he described it to me w was um, a lack of serotonin. And then, I, you know, I didn't, I was like, okay, what the fuck? So he described it to me like, you get all these neural pathways, right, 
going on in your brain. And every once in a while, one of them will like burn out. And instead of building a new bridge, right, and reconnecting, making a new one, it just, it burns out and like you blew a fuse in your fucking brain. And it's like, hey, you guys gonna, you know, do anything about that? And it's like, and a normal fucking person, yeah, the road commission goes to work right away. But my road commission just fucking, just 10 guys standing around with shovels smoking cigarettes, never doing shit. Yeah, so that's my brain. Yep. So, apparently what Prozac does, <clears throat> and I guess there's other drugs now too, which I'd rather not take any of them, but if I got to do it, I got to do it. It helps to produce the serotonin that your brain needs <laughs> to um, rebuild those neural pathways. So that might be, that might be what I need to investigate. You know, there's, I guess there's things that, that God will fix. And there's things that he won't, you know. Because, and what brings understanding to me as a result is that many of the old prophets and apostles and disciples all had their shit that they dealt with, you know, that God didn't do anything about. And it made them who they were. You know what I'm saying? Like it gave, you know how like a blind person, right? They can fucking hear shit that you can't hear. Their senses heighten, you know, their hearing, their smell, taste. Their, their feeling and their fingers and even in their feet. So maybe this has a benefit. Maybe I'm being told something with this whole <laughs> debit credit card thing. <laughs> I just don't know, man. But it is taxing. It's, it wears me out. And it kind of freaks me out too. <clears throat> so anyways. I guess that's what this fucking video is about. Is. This. And the entire summer having been really weird for me out here. At the river. Yeah. That's something that I want to experience. Uh, on the regular. Summer's about to close out here. We got uh, <coughs> next week and weekend gonna be in the 80s and who knows after that who knows how much time I got left after that <laughs> but it's gonna be time to pull the boat out get it home cleaned up put away same with the camper here 
Oh, I hate dealing with all that shit, dude. It's so much freaking stress. It's a lot of work. And I ain't got no help to do it. <laughs> I hate that. That could be part of it. I doubt it, though. It's not like one of those things, you know what I mean, where you got to be fucking in a rush. To hurry up and get it done. Hurry up and put it away. Oh, my God, it's going to snow tomorrow. No, it's... <laughs> you know, fuck. But that boat's on the trailer is so easy to wash it. <laughs> I haven't washed it one time this year. It's full of spider poop and dust and just, you know, cigarette ashes in the railings. Because, you know, I tie up with all my friends, right? And everybody's always flicking their cigarette off the side, kind of like how I do behind the chair in the, into the lawn. Yep, same thing. It's a dirty habit. <laughs> Bunch of inglorious bastards. It's my group of people, man. <laughs> oh, I love these guys. They're a lot of fun. I mean, low key, right? Tame, but a lot of fun. Know how to party. And we can literally talk about anything, and it's really cool. Everybody's respectful, everybody. You know, <laughs> politically, we got people, you know, they want to vote for Harris. But we've got a couple of Trump worshipers. And then there's, you know, people like myself in the group that are, like, just checked out all that shit. Don't fucking care. It's all bullshit. You know? So we've got a very diverse group of people. Something that, in my younger years, I would never hang out with these guys. You know, you were either a, a metalhead or you weren't. You know, you had to think a certain fucking way, man, or you're not in the group, dude. And I won't even entertain that now. Everybody's welcome as long as you're cool, you know. And don't get too hung up on any one thing. And just be respectful of each other. You know. Anyways, man. I appreciate you hanging out with me. And if you have any fucking clue as to what might be going on inside my brain. Please comment, because I'd, I'd like to know, is there something I'm missing here? You know? Am I being told something? Or am I onto something? Um, is it a serotonin thing? Is it the fucking vibe out here messing me up? Uh, man, <sighs> look at that. Yeah, it's a little chilly here this morning. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me this morning.
sometimes the dude's just got to talk things out, man, to, you know what I mean, to figure it out. And sometimes you just had to reach out to other people who are broad thinkers and rational, but can also think irrationally, you know, the what ifs, the, you know, the plausibility behind fucking multiple scenarios, man. As opposed to just looking at it from a worldly perspective. Right? <clears throat> I am leaning towards a spiritual attack, though. And I can feel it throughout my entire essence. In my body and in my spirit. I can, it, it's affecting me um, negatively. So, anyways, hope you all have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me for almost an hour. And uh, help me work this out, man. So, give you one little look see how it Anyways, man. Thanks again. Till next time. See ya.